Welcome to The Real Borloft. I'm Trip Foreman. We got Real Team Rider Dawson with us. And today we are talking about the Christensen Surfboards OP1. Let's uh, start off this review by talking about the entire OP series from Christensen. Uh, it's interesting because a lot of people know Chris and Christensen Surfboards as mid-lengths, as fishes, as guns, uh, but they don't typically think about uh, Christensen as a shortboard shaper, but that's actually where he got his start was in shortboards and he's always been shaping really good performance shortboards. And this past couple of years, he's put a ton of R&D time and team rider time into developing the OP series, which is Ocean Performance Series. Uh, there's four boards in the OP series, the uh, really easy to understand. OP1, which is what Mark has right here, uh, is the groveling shortboard, like your step down. Shortboard, short, big tail block, uh, plenty of horsepower underneath your feet to like generate speed. OP2, which is the daily driver, uh, that you can basically have one board and just carry it around and yep. kind of make it work in almost anything. Uh, OP3, which a lot of people will call, call the GER model. Uh, Brad Gerlach oh, yeah. is involved in the design of that. And that is a good wave performance shortboard with a swallowtail. And then there's the OP4, which is uh, a step up shortboard. So not like a full step up, but a, a slim down pintail shortboard for, for really good, powerful uh, waves. So OP1, 2, 3, and 4. Each board's got like its performance range and it's kind of, they all flow together, makes a great quiver, really easy to understand. Dawson, let's talk about the OP1. Uh, first, let's start off with your dimensions and then we're gonna go into the board dimensions. So your height and weight. My height is 5'9", and I'm about 165. 160 to 165. All right. And uh, what are the dimensions on this board? This one is a 5'7", by 19 and 3 eighths, um, 28 liters. All right. And the wave range that you've surfed this board in, like what's the smallest that you've uh, surfed I've this thing I probably rode this thing and surfed that probably shouldn't be surfable. <laughs> <laughs> so East Coast contest Yeah, surf. Yeah, just That's small, small, gutless just trying to get wet and just see how it worked. Right, right. And immediately, man, this thing just went so fast and I was really surprised how right. good it worked in gutless waves. And what is the biggest surf that you surf this in? Probably like chest high. Okay. Yeah, I haven't really got out to the bigger surf yet. It's still pretty new, but um, yeah, for summertime, this thing was insane. So we're talking like ankle high to chest ankle high. Ankle to chest like high, yeah, I would say, yeah, on. exactly. For, the, for some of the viewers out there that are not as tuned up in shortboards, like mm -hmm. why are the shapers going shorter and wider for smaller waves? I just feel like it's, so this isn't, it's performance, but it's not like all knifed out and gunny kind of performance. You know, it still has the wide up, wide in the nose and in the tail. I think just right. for those softer sections and for catching the waves, I feel like too. Yep. It's just right underneath your chest. And uh, yeah, like I said, instantly when I jumped on this thing, it has this crazy V in the bottom. That's just unbelievable tail, yeah. yeah it's like yeah right here I mean, it's, it's a like, lot of it it's crazy yeah so it almost feels like on those small waves it just kind of goes with the pumps almost i feel like it just okay. had that extra speed speed pocket for sure man so like looking at this thing um short and wide like or short and like a little bit wider like why the shapers are going that way is is um a lot of times to fit into the smaller curves okay. right like yeah, that because yeah. the longer boards won't fit exactly in there. yeah um the other thing that when i look at this board um, compared to some of the other boards in your quiver, I see a little bit more foam like out to the rails. Exactly, yeah. Um, not as thinned out. I, yeah, yeah, not as thinned out on the rails, so a little bit more push back For when sure. you push on it so you don't bog it. Mm -hmm. um, I also see like a little bit wider uh, tail block. So like this measurement, like right here on the end is wider. Yes. Uh, and that's gonna give you, when you push down, it's gonna give you more spring yep. out of the turns. Now I'm looking at the bottom of this board and you got the, uh, the FCS Chloe Andino's in here in a large yeah. at, at 160. So tell mm -hmm. us about that. Like, why are you riding larger fins in this thing? I just feel like in like, in, for me, when I do my turn, sometimes I have so much speed or my, my board just wants to skid out. Right. And ever since I put the larges in, it just kind of holds through those turns when you have all that speed. So that's why I feel like I threw the larges in. I can control my speed better. Okay. More or less. All right. Yeah. So, um, I mean, you've been riding this board a lot and you know, the OP1 and the OP2 were the first two Christensen performance yeah. shortboards underneath your feet. Exactly. Like, and you've written a lot of performance yeah. shortboards. Like, can you characterize like how these things feel? Like kind of like if, if you're meeting somebody, like you, you're working in the loft all the time, right? Yeah, yeah, in the yeah, real yeah. board exactly. loft. So 
Like when somebody asks you about a Christensen, like like what are the first few things you tell them about it? They're definitely durable, that's for sure. Like when I first jumped on them, I just thought they were really good boards, solid boards. You can ride them in all conditions. Yeah, the speed was insane. Like I said, it has that crazy V in it. I think it just helps with the, the flow of the wave, with how you go with it. It generates lots yeah. of speed. That's the one thing I did to feel about that, that it was just really good. Um, what about like in this shorter size, like more area in the nose, what's it like above the lip? The same thing, just get that, that release off the top and I feel like you have more surface area to get your foot further up to control that release as it goes, you know. Accessibility. There's a lot of Christensen fans out there, yeah. you know, that are looking at OPs. For sure. And there's also a lot of surfers out there that may be in the market for a shortboard, right? Like mm -hmm. their first shortboard. Yeah. Like is, is the OP1 something that like an intermediate, any intermediate surfer could surf. I would think so, yeah. OP1, I feel like it was more friendly for like summertime conditions and okay. you know, into, you know, once you get into bigger surf, I'd say grab a bigger board, but yep. any summertime, you know, waist to chest high waves, I think this is a really good board to go to. Where do you think, we've talked about the bottom of this board, mm -hmm. like being, you know, ankle high, like yeah. where do you think this thing's gonna red line out? Probably anything overhead, I'd okay. say. Maybe head high, a little foot overhead, maybe it would red line a little bit, I'd say. And that's hot. Like, is the is the height of the wave going to knock it out, or is the is the hollowness of the wave going to knock it out? Like the punch. I, I think. think the punch would be fine because this thing's pretty flat, and I kind of like riding big boards like this in the barrel. Okay. It's pretty flat and it kind of fits. Yeah. Maybe if any got any longer, maybe it would be a little weird. But um, I think this board would work good from waist to head high conditions. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Dawson, thank you for joining us and sharing uh, like your experience on the yeah. board. If any of you out there have any questions on the Christensen OP1 uh, or any of the OP series or would like to place an order for one, either stock or custom, you can always call us at the shop, 252-987-6000 or look us up online, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.